Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about headliners. The next uh, loading screen came out, so I was right on this one. They're gonna continue doing this, it looks like. Releasing uh, separate loading screens each day as we lead into a promo that they really wanna advertise. So today we have a Belgium uh, nationality, Spanish nationality, and 94 in the pace section um, of that of that loading screen among a lot of other items there are a lot of hidden things in that loading screen that i also want to take a look at uh on the video today uh and we're going to use this little picture over here that i just took a screenshot we're going to use this really quick to look at this because this is what i want to look at first with you guys today this is a screenshot of um basically the the uh let me make this a little bit bigger this is a screenshot of the loading screen that we got today of course we have the 94 pace i, don't, I really don't know who this is really don't know who that's going to be belgium it kind of looks like mertens and we're going to talk about that in a second um with this maybe being like a sergio ramos i don't know the opportunities are they're out there there's tons of opportunities but it's cool that we get these teaser loading screens again today instead of just saying one two three four yesterday's loading screen we had the four w's that were kind of cheekily placed in the background and today we have uh, four W's on kind of that meter. So uh, interesting to see what this is going to mean for us. And it seems like they're giving us a little bit of piece of information each day, right? So the first day we had four W's that were hidden. Now we have the four W's that are out here in front of us. Now today we have two pieces of information that are kind of hidden up here at the top. You see, I'm going to zoom in on this and see if you can see it. I'm going to try to drag it so you guys can see it. Right here, these, these letters, they're really, really hard to see. And they're really faint. But this is an M E R. Uh, a T somewhere in here where there's a T. It basically looks like, oh, the T is up here. There's a T right there. It looks like it says Mertens and Tellez. If you combine all the letters, those are the two names that you can get. So I wonder tomorrow if we are going to get like the, a loading screen with actual players on the front with this Belgium kind of link or a leak or like a, you know, teaser here. It's going to actually be Mertens on the front here. Uh, and then maybe we'll get some 94 pace person and then the Spanish guy as well. But one other thing that I want to look at here in the down right uh, are some numbers as well. We have the number 40, we have the number 12, and the number 07. So those are, you know, those are some of the things that I saw in today's, uh, in this, the screen, the loading screen. I'm sure you guys have saw that as well. Um, but that was the interesting stuff that we had to take in today. Some new headliners information, which they like to do this now. They like to tease us. They like to kind of show us what's going on, give us, you know, um, a... What is this pack that I have? I have one pack. Custom esports team kits. Oh, baby, look at this. We're going to have some custom esports team kits to uh, put in the club. Unbelievable. Nice. All right, cool. Anyways, uh, they like teasing us with those loading screens. That's something that I think they're going to continue to do for the really hype and really big promos throughout the rest of this year. And I just thought of this right now. Why don't we have like the background of foot? In game, you know, right now where we have like the moving graphics in the top left by my uh, my club name and the coins. You see that little moving graphic, the behind the scenes part of foot. FIFA 21. I bet we see those things update for the promos as well. That could be another uh, another step EA could take to make graphics look different on this game. So maybe watch, keep keep your eyes out for that. You know, you heard it here first. I guess what you're saying because I keep feeling like that's an area that they could upgrade, kind of the background of these menus as well. Anyways. We're talking about graphic stuff. Let's talk about in-game stuff inside of FIFA Ultimate Team. We did get some content today. We got moments. Fabian Schar. This guy was infamous last year for everybody comparing his card to like uh, center back icons, Van Dyke inform, stuff like that. Because he had more in-game stats than a lot of those. Tons of in-game stats on this card. Can you just give him two more pace, EA? Like two more pace and people would have went ballistic for this card. But still, it's not a do. It's not a too bad of a center back. I honestly might play him at like CDM. I might throw like an engine on him or something like that. Play him at CDM. He's got really good all around statistics, uh, high high work rate. So that's why I really want to say CDM for him. Um, you don't want the the high attacking work rates as a center back a lot of times because they'll push forward too much. But this is a solid looking card. Is it worth it? I'm gonna say probably not unless you have that road to the final in Babu card and you need a way to link him from your, your right mid to your center back. This could be a possible guy that you do that with. Uh, and if you have some things in the club that you think uh, would make this SBC cheaper for you and you run a Prem team or you just wanna card collect, then, uh, then I think this card would be something 
a lot more of you guys would be interested in. And did it make 85s and stuff rise today? Did it make any of this stuff rise? A little bit, man. 84s. These guys were like 3, 2, 3.3K. They're up to 4. 85s are up like 1,000 coins. 86s are up uh, 2,000 coins. I told you guys on like Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, I said, if you have the coins to do a club stock, do a club stock. And it looks like it's working out pretty well so far. Um, we, we're going to have rewards shortly after this video comes out. Um, and I would say if you have not sold your club stock yet, if you have some high rated cards in your club, I would cash out on those um, before Friday, basically before the promo drops on Friday, because people are still going to be kind of straggling to complete some of the SBCs in this game. Maybe after rewards, these cards might hang around the same price after rewards, but I do think they could slide upwards a bit after people get some coins, if they maybe have some SBCs left that they're trying to finish. So if you did a club stock, GG's to you. We're making some coins on that. It looks like the best ROI was probably on the 84s if you bought like the Ozil when he was three and a half K or maybe like the Wijnaldum when he was that cheap. But also 86s look pretty good. They were like 13, 13 and a half thousand coins, maybe even a bit lower than that on bid. And now a lot of them up, are up to 16,000 coins. So if you got some of those, G freaking G for that one. I think that was like all the content that we got today. Oh, we got a league SBC as well. I'll take a quick peek at this. And also speaking of content, they took content away from us today. That was a whole nother issue with the um, SBCs that were like deleted and just like vanished off the game. And they, they started to tweet about that a little bit this afternoon. Um, I did see a few tweets pop up on my phone at work. See if I can find these. Uh, EA Sports, it was the direct communications, and I want to look through these really quick as well. They said there was a, the team is still following up on the resolution. They should be able to share more time tomorrow. Okay, so we're getting these SBCs back tomorrow. I think it was the Marcelo, and it was the Bernardo Silva, and Dava the Wiz. I think all those guys expired. I think all those guys were the ones that expired, which is just interesting, man. Like, maybe it wasn't Dava the Wiz, but why are these SBCs just vanishing off the market, and why is it a problem? Just put them back in, you know, it seems maybe they saw these high rates were going up too much. And they're like, dude, the foot accountant told his, his viewers to buy high rates and these cards are going up too much. They're up 2k in two days and we just can't have this happening. So they pulled the SBCs. I think that's what happened. Not nah, just kidding. I don't think that's what happened, but, uh, you just, that, that kind of stuff in this game just doesn't make sense. And it's, uh, there's so many of those situations, so many of those issues that just happen too much in the game. It just makes this thing so frustrating, honestly. It just makes some parts of this game very, very frustrating because we do see way too many of those things, in my opinion. The little mistakes, right? Now, we got a new team of the week today, a record breaker Aguero, which I do believe is extinct right now on the market at 700K, and also left mid Rashford, which is extinct at 210K. I would watch these cards' prices, get a price range update, probably around rewards or before, and then drop down because people are gonna be packing them in their rewards. Because of the Rashford, I was going to buy some Sterling left, with, left wings today for Thursday flipping, uh, which if you're still right before awards watching this video, maybe you have a chance um, to pick up a few cards yet, some special cards um, on bid or on snipe or something, people selling off right before rewards. Just look around the market, past team of the weeks. So we'll talk about that in a second as well. Um, but I kind of stayed away from like the Premier League front kind of guys today because of Mares and because of Rashford. I bought a couple of the, the second in for Mares, the 87 rated, because right away today, uh, when the Mares was announced at like 10 a.m., this guy was around right around 60k ish, I think. And uh, there was a bunch of them getting listed at like 57, 58k, but anytime one was getting listed under like 50. Under 58, honestly, they were getting sniped up so quick. Somebody else was on those cards. And when I see so many people buying cards like that in a short time span, I just don't want to be a part of it. And it looks like this uh, this Mara is the 87. Maybe is like 65K, which would be, okay, here's one right here. 63,000 coins, so not quite 65. But there's a Mara's at 63. Uh, I missed that one. What's that one at? 63. So it looks like he's up a few thousand coins from where I actually bought him. But uh, I didn't, I think I bought three. I didn't buy many of them because I saw so many people sniping that card at the 59th minute really, really, really quick. So that just made me not want to buy that card uh, when it came out today. But again, team of the week, the Aguero is the biggest thing and it's extinct right now. So you can't actually go buy that Aguero um, new team of the week card that came out today. But I want to talk a little bit more about possible cards that could come out 
during this promo and some of my thoughts about what kind of cards EA is going to choose. Now, obviously, we've seen some of the things in that loading screen about which cards could be there, which cards could not be there based on, you know, some of the leaks and stuff. Alex Tellez, we'll look his card up really quick. Tellez looks to be like a card who I think could get in. That'd be a cool card to get in. Is he going to get more informs? I really don't think that he would. Uh, I, I wouldn't think that maybe this Tellez would get many more informs, maybe one more. Uh, but again, it would be a boosted edition of his card, most likely. Uh, and it all depends on what EA wants to do with the headliner promo. But it seems like Tellez and it seems like Mertens are in. But this is what I think they have to do. I think that they can't. Uh, I think they should be able to put in Road to the Final players. I know their verbiage last year said that nobody who got a headliner card could have a base card rating over 90, could have a ones to watch card, or have a Road to the Final version. And I think that um, they should change that this year. I really think that they should change that this year and that they should make uh, Road to the Final cards be available to getting a headliner card. I think they should change their verbiage around that because... These Road to the Final cards are not upgraded by an individual game performance like the Headliner and like Ones to Watches are. These cards are updated purely by team performance and team wins, then moving forward in their competition. So these cards really don't have anything to do with player performance, only with individual performance. So I think that's why these players that are in these two promos here, Road to the Final Set 1 and Road to the Final Set 2, should be available to getting uh, a headliner's card. That's just personally how I feel about it. Who in here could be possible uh, or who would be a good fit to get one? Obviously, Mares has been playing well. I don't think they would give one to Mares though because that would mean he has like five special cards already because uh, and he has a live item with this road to the final. I think Sancho would be a decent one. That'd be somebody who they'd like to throw in for a promo. They could juice up his inform a little bit higher and he would have two live items, one for him playing in the... In, the the champions league that would also make this card drop a decent amount probably if a newer one came out which was also a live item people might freak out and sell this one so that could be a gg for ea helping some people lose coins there um but yeah that's kind of how i feel about those cards and i feel like ea is just going to do something different with this promo this year based on what we have seen before so that's kind of my thing with those specific players getting in obviously we have the loading screen right we have we have those guys that are on the front that we see um, but I mean, with like with the, uh, what they'll call leaks or links or the teaser, right? We have the, the Belgian, the Spanish and the 94 pace, um, which, you know, there's so many possibilities from, from those, from those three cards right there, who they could be. We really just don't know. Uh, but of course, Adama Traore, we want 94 pace. Who could that be? I don't know. Maybe like a Nelson Semedo. And then maybe the, the Belgian, of course, because uh, is nine Golan. I tweeted him out last night, but I think nine Golan seems like a very uh, plausible person to get into this promo. He, he's only got two informs so far, but this is the type of card with maybe with one boost and then another inform. He could be Hullet Gang with the 80, 80 pace, which I tweeted out last night as well. And a lot of people like this card. His informs are always rare in this game and a lot of people like to use him. Of course, if Mertens does come out, you'll probably see a little bit of a rise on this card. People would like to link those two together. Nice little strong link there in the, the Serie A. So there's something with that card as well. And I want to do a quick little bit of research here. Um... With Road to the Final Cards, I want to do a quick little bit of research here because we had this interesting transfer that was confirmed. Gedson Fernandez heading to Tottenham Hotspur. And obviously, as a lot of you guys know, Gedson Fernandez, and you might have done the SBC, Gedson Fernandez um, transferred and he had a UCL, what, he had a Europa League. No, it was UCL, man. Is Benfica in the UCL? He's got a UCL card. So Benfica is in the UCL. So he had, wait, it was a Europa League card that he got. So, Euro, oh, Benfica went down to Europa League. Yes, Nate, come on now. Euro, uh, Benfica went down um, to the Europa League. So that's why he had the Europa League live card. But he did get transferred to Spurs. So the question that a lot of people are asking is, will his Europa League live card get upgraded to a Champions League live card? And we have never had this situation before. Last year in FIFA 19, I don't believe we had the situation. If I'm totally blanking on something, then let me know. But I don't think we had the situation. Here's what the verbiage says on their website in the FAQs. Fe frequently asked questions. 
what happens if a player transfers? If a player transfers to a club not playing in either tournament, they will no longer receive any upgrades. So what this says to me is since he is um, transferring to a club who is currently live, currently playing in one of these competitions, even though he had a Europa League live card, that card should then, based on what this says, it should then turn into a Champions League card because it says if a player transfers to a club not playing in either tournament, they will no longer receive an upgrade. So if we turn that double negative backwards, if the player does transfer to a club playing in either tournament, they will continue to, see, continue to receive upgrades. So that's how I see this. I do think this card will turn into a Champions League version. And if you did that SBC, GG's. Because now I'm wishing that I, I did because I'm a Spurs fan, right? That would have been a cool card to add to my squad. Even though, you know, Club 70, this card doesn't look like anything special. I don't expect Spurs to go far. Shoot, if they get one win, this card get up, upgrade once. That's awesome, right? Because I think his SBC card was an 81 and it would go to an 84. So that'd be a really nice boost. Uh, let's actually check that right now to make sure on Footbin. Europa League Live SBC, yeah, it was an 81 rated card. It got a huge boost in the pace category, plus five. So if he does go to an 84, now I'm really wishing I would have done this SBC. If Spurs win their first game of Champions League at the end of February, I think they're playing uh, Leipzig, then this card would go to an 84 rated because it's the, for the upgrades... The upgrade path, they if they win the first knockout game, all they have to do is win the first knockout game, they get that upgrade. So Getsa Fernandez will get an upgrade after his item would change from a from a Europa League to a Champions League card. And now I'm super duper bummed that I didn't do this SBC when it first came out. When was it out? It was out in December. So I really missed out on this one. Uh, and I regret that now, man. I, I wish I maybe would have read into the rumors a little bit more of him coming to Spurs. I don't know if there are any back when his SBC was out, but... Some of you guys have been asking about that, and I think that's how that situation is going to work. Again, a couple hours right now before rewards. If you're still on the market looking at some things, you can take a look at Footbin. Take a look at some Team of the Weeks that are low. Now, I've been focusing on a lot of stuff that is in the Prem, um, but also, also uh, that's where a lot of other people have been focusing as well. So if you're looking for some last-minute investments for um, weekend league flipping. This guy was 41K this morning because people thought he was getting a team of the week. Wow. And the man is 48,000 coins. This is exactly what I'm talking about. So many people have bought into these cards, Premier League um, out of pack specials that I think you might want to focus on other leagues. Pick La Liga, Serie A, or Bundesliga out of pack specials. They might not be up as much yet if you're watching this right before rewards. And that might give you an opportunity to get in on some cards at lower prices and still see them rise because not as many people have invested in those cards that are non-prem. Uh, and that could, again, give you an option and a possibility to get in on some cards that haven't been bought up already, right? Because when you have people that invest in cards ahead of you and you're not the first person to invest, you might not make as many coins on that, especially if there's a lot of people investing uh, because that's more people that have to sell and they're trying to sell on top of you. Well, you're trying to sell your card and that does not allow the, the card to rise up in price as well with its pure demand. I did buy some Timo Werners today. Last weekend, I sold them at like 115 and uh, I did buy some right around 100,000 coins. So if I see any more of those at 100K, I'll probably buy some more. At the moment, I don't have much. I don't have as many coins as I did. I've got a, a cool buy with a shadow. I got these three Mares, a couple Deli Alleys at 50K. And then I do have a decent amount of Werners, a couple Salahs. And uh, that's about it, man. That is about it for the stuff on my transfer list for Thursday flips. Good luck if you guys are flipping. Good luck if you're opening rewards. And uh, yeah, that's kind of my thoughts for this upcoming promo of the headliners, some of the stuff that we saw, maybe some stuff we'll see tomorrow with the next loading screen, and just my thoughts in general for today's content in FIFA Ultimate Team. If you enjoyed the video, smash your thumbs on it, a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.